the most common question that is asked by people is how to become self-confident. The simplest answer is the 11 pointers that you see on the screen. Be social. Go to public places. Look at people. Meet people and talk to them. You must listen to public speakers. Listening to public speakers is one of the most important and crucial part of developing confidence because that is where you look at their gestures, their actions, their tone, their modulation, the way they present themselves and thereby you learn role modeling. And you also learn to have triggers, positive triggers that help you understand the basics of public speaking and you inherit the qualities automatically. Read a good book. Dr. Ambedkar was somebody who came from a background that did not allow him to excel, yet he excelled academically. How did that happen? If you read the childhood of Gandhiji, childhood of Ambedkar, childhood of Nehruji, childhood of Abraham Lincoln, childhood of a number of other leaders like Nelson Mandela, you will come to know one secret. The secret of their confidence is their reading habit. They read good books and that is what gave them food for the mind. And that is what books do to you. Record a video. Many content writers and content creators have experienced a peak in their confidence because of their own recording and the videos they recorded for themselves. Even if they have not uploaded it anywhere, it has still given them a lot of confidence to understand themselves and project themselves as positive being. So record a video, feel good about yourself and give yourself a good perception about your being. Look at yourself positively. Do not be a critic. If you keep criticizing yourself, who else can love you? And that's beautifully said by great philosophers that if you want to love others, love yourself first. So look at yourself positively. Know the negativity, know the points you need to improve upon. But at the same time, don't forget to pat yourself for the goodness that you have. The best thing is be with your close friends, loved one, family, discuss the problems with them, help yourself by making them be in the presence of good company. When you are in good company, you will understand the importance of yourself because these are the people, your close friends, your loved ones are somebody who loves you. And these are the people who will tell you that you're doing well and will stand by you even if you are a little low in your life. At the same time, it's very important to join communities, virtual communities, physically going and attending certain events, socially connecting with people. Joining these communities help us get connected to a number of others and then maintain a link with them so that your confidence goes high and you are known in the community contribute, take leads, do some kind of social events, social work, even if it doesn't give you a lot go join and learn and that is what will give you experiences which will mold your confidence in return grab opportunity to meet people at different levels because that is what makes you realize your worth and your being do some kind of self-work training when you know you're not good at a particular thing or you have a particular loophole try to address that try to be as good as possible in mending yourself it's very easy to say that I can't do it, but it's equally easy to tell yourself you can do it. So make sure you always have a very positive mindset and attitude towards yourself. And that is what will help you be what you are.